Oh, R. Kelly is an innocent man, an innocent man, an innocent man. They need to drop the charges and just send this king home. Send him home, send him home. Why this dragging this shit out? The prosecution has done nothing but gossip about his sex life from day one. They have not proven racketeering. They have not proven racketeering so far. He's supposed to be like John Gotti. All we're talking about is who sucked his dick 20 years ago, 30 years ago. How is that racketeering? The man is a star. Of course, he's had sex with a lot of people. And of course, some of those women are going to have bad things to say about him because maybe they didn't like how the relationship ended or maybe they still want him. But that's life. You know, that's life. And uh, I just don't understand this case. I don't understand this trial. Based on the charges, we should have seen some evidence of R. Kelly running a criminal enterprise by now. Where, where's the criminal enterprise? Demetrius Smith said he had nothing to do with the bribery uh, of the government official. Um... Richard Arline Jr. said he had nothing to do with bribing Azriel. He did that on his own. Um, I don't understand. Where's the criminal enterprise? Where is the criminal enterprise? This is one of the biggest miscarriages in our justice system. What's going on with R. Kelly? America should be ashamed. America should be ashamed of putting this innocent man on trial for dumb shit. And the defense had a, a good week this week. You know, they had a real good week. Um, the prosecution brought forth, uh, I think it was Jane Doe number 13. And she went by the name Alexis. And uh, she met R. Kelly when she was 15. And in the paperwork, the feds tried to make it seem like she was 15 when she had sex with R. Kelly. You know, in the, in the, in the paperwork that they released of the uncharged acts and what they were trying to bring in to the RICO, uh, they made it seem like she was 15 when she had sex with R. Kelly. But she took the stand and she said, no, nah, I was uh, 15 when I met him, but we didn't have sex until I was after 18. She was like 18, 19 when she had sex with him. And uh, she said she wasn't abused. She said she wasn't hit. She wasn't starved. I don't think he, t I think she said he didn't tell her what to wear. You know, she had a, she didn't, she didn't want to be there. She was only there because she was subpoenaed by the prosecution. And uh, she was so bad for the prosecution, the defense didn't even cross examine her. <laughs> You know, because she didn't have nothing bad to say about R. Kelly. So that was that. You know. How is this a criminal enterprise? How is this a criminal enterprise? And then you had another woman. Uh, I think this was Jane Doe 11. She was 27 when she met R. Kelly. And uh, she says that she caught herpes from him in 2001. And... Uh, after she caught herpes, she um, she she got a two hundred thousand dollar settlement, and uh, but she still continued to see R. Kelly till two thousand four. She was still having sex with him, and um, so she wasn't a good witness for the prosecution either, because uh, the feds are saying that R. Kelly had herpes. You see, they keep contradicting themselves. They brought the doctor on there to say that R. Kelly was treated for herpes in 2007, even though he tested negative for herpes in 2007. So you bring in a chick from 2001 to say she got herpes, but it's not in R. Kelly's medical records that he had herpes in 2001. So that herpes thing is not going to be provable. You know, and Faith said uh, last week, it came out in court, that she told police she had um, herpes since 2013. 
So she, Faith had herpes before she met R. Kelly. So how are they going to prove that he gave these people herpes? You're still not saying if R. Kelly has herpes. Was he tested positive for herpes? Or was he just given Valtrex because the doctor thought he had herpes? And that hasn't been made clear. That hasn't been made clear uh, to us. And even if he did have herpes, um, millions of people all over the world have herpes. Are you going to put everybody on trial who has herpes? It's just ridiculous. Jim Carrey gave a woman herpes. Nobody arrested him. Derek Jeter gave um, Jessica Alba, Mariah, and a whole bunch of other celebrity women herpes. And he never went to jail. You know, this is confirmed that Derek Jeter had herpes. So, um, and we can't forget about Charlie Sheen giving AIDS, HIV to those young women. Some of those young women have died. It's been covered up by the media. Um, not one charge for Mr. Charlie Sheen. Not one charge. But R. Kelly is being painted as Lucifer, and we don't really know if he had herpes or not because the doctor was so shaky with his testimony. This is ridiculous. This whole trial, I... God bless R. Kelly, man. God bless him. He shouldn't have to go through this. He should not have to go through this. They say, uh, according to people that were there at the trial, they say next week the trial is only going to be Thursday and Friday. So they have Monday off, Tuesday off, Wednesday off. And on Thursday and Friday, uh, I guess uh, two new women will be testifying. And it's going to be some videos of a sexual nature um, dealing with the two women who are testifying. So... It's not about anybody that has testified. So it's not about Faith or Azriel or Geronda or any of the women who have testified previously. It's about two new women that haven't testified yet. So I'm thinking two videos of a sexual nature dealing with two women that haven't testified yet. The feds didn't say it was child pornography. They didn't say it was child pornography because he's not charged with tapes in New York. And if it was child pornography, they would have charged him with it. So who are the women on the tapes? And I got to thinking, and I was like, Joyce Lynn, Joyce Lynn had a tape with R. Kelly that Tim Savage told Angelo about. Remember when Angelo did that interview with DJ Tyson like a year and a half, two years ago? Uh, and he told DJ Tyson, that Tim Savage had a tape of Joycelyn sucking R. Kelly's dick. And um, that always stood in the back of my mind. And remember, Tim Savage responded and said that he didn't have the tape. He didn't tape Joycelyn. What happened was that Joycelyn's media manager, Tone, had the tape. And he found out about the tape months later. So that always sat in my mind to me because I was always wondering how did Tim Savage and Tone and all these people get that sex tape? So that's one of the videos that could be shown. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. I guess they're just trying to taint him. You know, two people who haven't testified yet. Ah. <sighs> But they didn't charge him with the video, so it's not probably not it's not child porn, y'all. So we know that it's not child porn. Who are the and Holly? I think Holly had a sex tape with R. Kelly too. So did R. Kelly have the Joycelyn tape on his phone, as well as Joycelyn having it on her phone? And is that what they took off of R. Kelly's phone? Because they say it's two tapes, two small videos. Two small videos that they took off of his iPads um, that were of a sexual nature with two women that haven't testified yet. So those are the clues. So 
So I'm thinking it's one of the tapes. It's a Joycelyn tape because it would make sense for them to, to, to play a Joycelyn tape for the jury to kind of discredit her before she even takes the stand as a defense witness for R. Kelly. So if they play the tape of Joycelyn performing oral sex on R. Kelly, when she gets on the stand, she can't deny that she made a tape with R. Kelly. You see what I'm saying? Even though she did nothing illegal because she was grown when she met R. Kelly. She was, what, 19? Joycelyn was 19 when she met R. Kelly. Holly was 20. So if they show their sex tapes, that's not illegal. So that's who I'm thinking it's about. That's who I'm thinking it's about. But we'll see. They really want to discredit Joycelyn because her name has been brought up so many times in this trial. Azriel brought her name up so many times. Faith brought her name up. So uh, they have to discredit her before she gets on the stand. So that's who the tape is probably about. I honestly think Joycelyn is not needed. Joycelyn is not needed, and I don't think the defense should call her. Changing my mind about it. At first, I was like, well, Joycelyn need to get up there and testify and say, you know, that R. Kelly didn't abuse her and he was giving him money and all of that. But now, I think Joycelyn needs to stay off that stand because Joycelyn is not a good speaker, and I think she'll get tripped up. And right now, we're on a good wave. She can do more harm than good accidentally. You know, she'll accidentally do more harm than good by being a defense witness. So she needs to stay off that fucking stand and out that courtroom. Because they're going to trip her up on the stand. Yeah, she needs to stay off that stand. She will help R. Kelly more if she stays out of that courtroom. She needs to keep doing what she's doing, being silent. Because the Fed's playing a dirty game. At the last minute, they say, we got, you see, because he don't, they don't, they're not charging him with videos. That's why we kept saying it's no tapes in New York. Because none of the people that he's charged with, that they have tapes on. And that's why the feds were like, well, if you don't have tapes on anybody he is charged with, how can you say that, you know, visual, how can you have them testify about videos that y'all don't have? But the Fed's plan all along was to bring in videos of Joycelyn and Holly or Joycelyn and somebody else who he is not charged with to, um, to I guess, taint the jury and say, this man, you know, here he is uh, having sex with some woman years younger, and here he is doing this and that. that that's what it's about. It's to discredit him because this might be some people on the jury that say, uh-uh, R. Kelly shouldn't be having sex with a 20-year-old or a 19-year-old. They might feel like that, you know? So that's why they would bring in a video of Joycelyn and Hallie. Or, or maybe maybe it's Juice. Maybe it's um, Andrea Payton, a.k.a. Juice. I don't know, but my gut is telling me it's Hallie or Joycelyn or both. That's what the videos are about. Again, nothing to show racketeering. Everything about his sex life. Oh. God bless R. Kelly, man. God bless him. I just want him up out this shit. I want him up out this shit. I want him up out that nasty jail. I want him up out that nasty jail. Joycelyn Savage. And I always, I always kept that interview in my head because with, with uh, DJ Tyson and Angelo, because Angelo said a lot in that, in that interview. He just ran his mouth. And then when he talked about that tape with Joycelyn and said that Tim was running around talking about that tape, and I think Cash Jones has seen the tape. And, you know, I think Cash Jones is subpoenaed. Because her name has been brought up too. And, they, you know, they're trying to paint her as part of the enterprise. Because Faith said on the stand that it was Cash 
and her cousin Michael Williams that approached him at Applebee's and Michael Williams was acting as a security and Michael Williams had the gun and they showed her her nudes and said if she don't drop the lawsuit, her nudes was going to be out. You know, her naked pictures was going to be out. So they're trying to paint Cash as part of the enterprise. And Cash did say that she saw um, the tape of Joycelyn sucking R. Kelly's dick. So that's the tape, y'all. That's the tape they're going to show. And then by the time Joycelyn gets on the stand, she can't even deny nothing. She can't say, no, nah, I never was taped with R. Kelly. Uh-uh, because we showed a tape of you last week sucking R. Kelly dick. So you see how they're trying to trip her up. Joycelyn need to stay off that stand. I know I said that before. Yeah, she, she needs to stay off that stand. She's going to get tripped up. The feds play a dirty game, y'all. They didn't have no tapes on him with any of the chicks he's charged with. So they're trying to bring in two sex tapes of two chicks he's not charged with, who were grown women at the time. God bless them. And at first I thought it was, oh, well, what if it's the Avenatti tape, the tape that Avenatti turned in? But I don't even think it's that tape because they would have said child pornography. They would have said, oh, this is the tape with him with the, the, the alleged 14-year-old uh, girl, and she's yelling out she's 14. Remember that tape that Avenatti turned in? So it's not that tape either because they would have been quick to say, oh, this child pornography. This is an underage girl in the tape, even though they can't prove an underage girl in the tape. They would have been quick to say that, so it's not, it's not that either. But I'm just speculating. This is just my opinion. I could be wrong. We'll see next week. The public will not be able to see uh, the videos. Uh, those uh, those uh, sex tapes will be for the jury only. Um, as it should be. You know. As it should be. But God bless our Kelly, man. I know them jurors are sitting there like, where's the racketeering? Where's the criminal enterprise? Anyway, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, free R. Kelly, and fuck anybody who don't like him. Uh.